Hi guys, this is Dr. Slife. Welcome back to more parts of my strains. There's only going to be two more videos like this. And I'm, like I said, I'm sorry about it, but I didn't really want to redo the entire game just so we could do this part to record it correctly. So, like I said, the, feed, the um, commentary that I am doing for all these silent parts is going to be newer commentary than the parts that are coming after it for a while. Um, and I got some, I have to record in another video chronologically. I wanted to deal with these first reason to get these out and then I'll start recording gameplay again, but I'll make a note on the video <clears throat> once I'm done with these that this is chronologically after this one and commentary wise. So I have no idea what I'm doing running around here for. Did I want to visit Joker? Okay. That, that, that's what I'm doing, yeah, okay. Oh, you can see they're boring something there. <coughs> it's rather amusing. You, we've seen people boring their own game and they're going to continue to do so. <coughs> <sighs> so I woke up like not like 30 minutes, well, about 30 minutes ago, maybe a bit um, long, maybe a bit short, I don't know. I don't like this area. I really don't. Uh, yay, Dr. Quinzel has decided to help. <laughs> yeah, that's... Well, I don't know what traps he's talking about. But, okay. That's the greatness that Joker has to offer. Okay. I don't know if I commented there. Um, but his arm position's changed. Um, I don't much like it. Maybe I noticed, maybe I didn't. I don't remember noticing. But, yeah. I don't like it at all. Try um, that is um, a latte that I think I tried to read you in alcohol Munson. <sighs> so, yeah, the, I'm. It's just these videos just awkward. They, they really are. I can't wait till I'm able to finally be done with recording the commentary for the ones that are silent. The thing is, I could have in theory picked them up with just no sound at all, but I would have wanted to explain to you, and I don't know how many of you guys, or well, one, how many are even watching, but how many even look in the information area down below. Oh, fuck. Yeah, see, this kind of sucks. I pick up interview tapes, and Zaz has a great voice acting. You aren't able to hear the first like three, and I also won't be able to read it to you because again, this is a bit small for me. Ah, uh, that's screen I'm ah, uh, that's showing up while I'm making this commentary on Movie Maker, which I used to make videos smaller in size. Tape patient evaluation one. Patient name is Victor Sars, diagnosed clinically insane after the murder of at least 20 women in the Gotham area. Hello, Victor. I am Dr. I'm Dr. Cassidy. Seeing as this is our first treatment, let's spend some time to get time getting to know each other. I don't need to know you, Miss Cassidy. Everything is meaningless. Don't you think there's a very negative outlook on life, Victor? Oh, good lord. You've not read my file? Yes, yes I have. It says you came from a wealthy family, that your parents died, that you lost all the money gambling in Penguin's Casino, by the way. And none of it matters. Why do you keep saying that, Victor? Because the only thing that does matter is the mark. Have you seen my walk, Miss Cassidy? <sighs> if you're referring to the mouse on your... Of course, I mean... My tiny mugs. And half less pace for yours. 
Do you want to see well? I think I'll bring up how I used to confuse Mr. Sass and Tally Man. But I think I'll bring that up in another video, so I'll ignore that for now. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Sass is a friendly fella. Like I said, I, I quite enjoy his character. Although I haven't seen him done correctly in a form of media that I really like yet. I know, I talked in my last video about the evil of Mike Pants and the terribleness of the Republic against anybody who is conservative and whatnot, which is a kind of fossil at all. So, ooh, I love the fighting mechanics in this game. Um, I don't have much more to add on that. I could. <sighs> One thing I'm thinking about, um, once I get back home right now, I'm at college, is, um, Making a says um, to solve my comic book collection. I have Saffron Hunter and Safety One, um, DC Comics. My brother, he collects Marvel. And I have nothing against Marvel, but I like Batman. He's my favorite comic book character, so I have to collect this thing. Um, <clears throat> and plus, collecting just one company makes um, picking them in chronological order easy. So, not terribly easy. Because. It's, it gets complicated at some points. I've been thinking about redoing my list in chronological order using Mike's Amazing Wall of DC Comics. But, I, I don't know. I, I'd, li I'd like, there's no good way to pick things in a chronological order <clears throat> when two comics completely do not relate to each other. How do I pick, how do I decide what goes first? An issue of Batman? On issue of um, the Legion of Superheroes, which should be fed on many of those, by own enough. By the way, the 90s says was confusing. I only own two issues of that, but I, I, I think both are about fall, fall, which is something I often do, not on purpose. But, <coughs> yeah, they seem confusing to me. <coughs> Sorry for the coffee, I just ate breakfast. Although I do, I guess, have something to drink in the refrigerator. Maybe I should pull that out. Um, yeah, you see all these guys in the thing 19. But they're just in cages, so they don't matter. <coughs> um, what more is in this video? Um, oh yeah, we'll see kind of the origin of these people and what later becomes of these people. Um, Alcom City does a lot to um, explain certain things from this game, which I'm thankful for. I mean, it's happy that they actually took the time to explain some of the strange things. <sighs> so yeah, I'm just following Warden Sub's Blood Trail. The thing that's confusing me is I watched the Sub's Redemption like five days ago, so I keep thinking I should be calling him Warden Norton. By the way, um, the, um, the story sounds like Redemption, the short story from different seasons. Actually, in that, there are three different Wardens. The last one was the very religious one. The, um, who, I, I don't remember them all, but I remember there were three different Wardens, which I thought was more interesting than just one. But it makes sense to keep just one antagonist in the movie. Although, again, I do believe in making things as closely, um, close to the box as possible, which they didn't do. And it's much nice. Stop. Stop, Batman. Please, you've got to help my babies. Yeah, I don't, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like Bush Ivy all that much. I think I said that before. I'm not really interested in a bunch of flowers, Ivy. I'm really not interested. <sighs> it's just, I don't like the one paying crime for help, blah, blah, blah. You know, in the 90s, there was a quote-unquote villain called Arlogent. He had a lot of different names. He, the thing, he grew up in Gotham, but he was terribly allergic to plant life, to flowers, to pollen. And I have allergies against pollen. Believe me, it's terrible. 
it is outside my um I'm in a different board in a ball state in my old dorm or portion of his profile. Pardon this Pamela Ive the Isley was transformed by a science experiment gone wrong into a plant human hybrid with chlorophyll flowing through her veins instead of blood she developed a toxic touch and a film few talent for seduction. Her crimes have become more ecologically I got, I got focused uh, she has increasingly abandoned her human inside identifying more with a natural world. A unique brand of ecoterrorism after picturing conflict with Batman whose iron rule usually protects him from her seductive powers. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about her. Um, in the old board, you know, I was out here, the old dorm, out right outside the dorm was this boss thing that paid off this pattern. So, like, for an entire week, like, near, near the end of the year, after time I go outside, my eyes would get whacked through, my nose would get runny. Because I had to walk past that boss because it was right outside that outside door. It was terrible. Um, this, her profile reminds me of Stay Out of the Basement by hours time, so... Read that sometime. <laughs> um, that, I'm, I have a small list. I was trying to relax. I'm trying to get up. Pamela Lilly and Isley, professional criminal, Gotham City, Green Eyes, right here, 5'8, 116 pounds, Batman issue 181, 1966, which they don't own. It'll probably cost a bit more because it's probably an Ivy, but I don't think it'll cost prohibitively more. Um, by the way, of course, the scientist that did this to her was Jason Wardrew, an ability to encourage and direct the growth of our plant life. Plant genes mixed in with her DNA maker, an unpredictable and formidable physical opponent, exudes natural pheromones that enable her to exert control over victims. Skin secretes toxin that can make her touch deadly, pathological drive to rid the world of humanity and make it safe for plant life. So anyway, Arlogent, the guy from the 90s, um, started this campaign to destroy all the plants in Gotham. You know, the weed caller. I think another name of this is weed caller. I didn't blame him. I actually felt bad for him. Because it, when you're allergic to plants, you can't, you, I mean, there's not a lot you can do to help yourself with that. So, actually, you know, Batman and Robin will, will take him over being a terrorist, and of course, Poison Ivy was not having any of it. I say why not just let him do it, because I think person he was in the right. Case of a second identity. Um, we are following that trail leads up there. And Aaron Cass for some reason in a cage. I wonder why that is. Oh wait, I mean they don't say, but it's obviously I don't know why they don't say like on the um, cage. That's not Aaron Cass. That's Clayface, the first Clayface, Basil Carlo. And not the second, the second is Mahagen, third is Tristan Payne, fourth is Sandra Fowler. And uh, no, I know Cliff is after those four really matters, at least to me. Although they have the mannequin in the cage, and in the comics the mannequin's name is Helena, and it was for the third Clayface, who was like insane. Like, actually literally insane. I don't count Basso, Ca Basso Carlo as nearly as insane as Tristan Payne. So it's they combined a bit here. Uh, well, I'm probably talking about the. I don't know. I don't seem to have a lot of time left in this video. Um, initially, an actor in horror films, Carlo went to when he learned a classic form of his was to be remade with a different actor in the lead role. He took on the mask. Other uh, forms fail in Clayfish and caught several of the remix custom crew before being stuck by Batman and Robin. Later, Carlo joined the Mad Pack, an alliance of shape changing mutated villains who had subsequently used the name Clayfish. While that group was defeated, Carlo tricked his allies and injected himself with the essence of several of them, becoming a superhuman imbibed with the abilities to change shape, Mahagen, mold others into protoplasm, and Preston Payne. With the tats and mimic the powers of heroes or feelings he copies. I think that was Sandra Fowler, though maybe my Hagen could do it. I'll see you guys in a second. And then back, guys, this is Death's Life. So, about half of this video is going to be 
um, this Clayface profile, basically because some of the things it's talking about in regards to Clayface. I enjoy the character of Clayface over Owl. Um, and there are multiple um, Clayfaces, of course, as you as I explained last video. Um, I the thing is that Clayface was basically I don't know exactly how it happened, but the first Clayface, Basil Carlo, has in the last um, um, six years been getting more and more popular. Part of it is this game, um, but he's just been showing up more and more in comics. Now the second Clayface, Matt Hagen, he died, so he's gone. He's not getting popular anyway. I don't. I think it's been a while since the third Clayface has appeared anyway. Preston Payne, and so the only like important Clayface right now seems to be Basil Carlo. So Basil Carlo formed the Mad Pack. This is one of the few stories where I actually have all the parts. Four parts. I'll link below. It's like Detective Comics six or four to six, maybe it's six or five, six, six, I think it's six or five to six or eight, um, in the l very late 80s, like 89. Um, uh, so there was a pre, a prequel or prelude to that in um, Secret Origins issue 44. So pretty much he, it's, and I need to read this again, so I'm not going to really explain this terribly well, but he forms the Mad Pack to uh, take out Batman, I'm sure there's more to it than that. But he tricks them all, and then he's able to take the powers. Basil Carl, a professional criminal, Rod right here, no here, 6'5", 265 pounds, first appeared in Detective Comics 19, in 1940, issue 40. He's one of Batman's earliest, the earliest villains. Batman's first real coin villain, by the way, was not the Joker. It was not even Hugo Strange. Hugo Strange appeared before the Joker. Before the Joker, it was Doctor Darth, who doesn't do much anymore either. Sadly, that I know of. I have a uh, Doctor Darth story in the um, 80s. Uh, his like first appearance, like in 30 or 40, maybe 50 years, um, where he's where he's really much and there's a pair, well not a paraplegic, but that's a disabled um, person in a wheelchair. Who is going to like poison Gotham? I find him a fun character in those issues. Can alter his physical form, adapting the appearance of nearly anyone. His malleable physical form makes him extremely difficult to injure or contain. His touch can be poisonous, and that again is from Tristan Payne. Um, Tristan Payne, after time he appeared, it recounted his origin again and again and again and again. I'm I'm so done with this origin. Pri in regard to Prison Pain, you have got to read Batman Annual Issue 11. One, I have his first appearance as Clay, it's Detective Comics Issue 478. But read Prison Pain's first, uh, first, get his first appearance if you can't. But if you can't, get Batman Annual Issue 11. Um, it's a fair, well, it's, I didn't like this story at first, but now I find the Clayface story, this is our Penguin story. I find the Clayface story extremely touching. By the way, we'll be seeing that list anyway. Mr. J's party list. It's a very touching Clayface story. And you should you should read it. Because I think it handles his character really well. And shows how insane he is. But, it's like it, but he's like one of the more tragic Batman animals. This video laughs showing off these asses. I mean, Poison Ivy is the biggest example. Uh, so now we have the poison ivy that we might have to deal with. Joke is trolling us now by releasing the lunatics. Go for him. Uh, and now I'm rescuing Warden Quincy Salp. And I don't know how I zoomed in. Probably I pushed the wrong buttons again. So, oh, we're getting a new gadget at this part, I just remembered. So after this, there's going to be one more video with just me talking with none of the game noises. Then we'll go back to the previously the previously recorded stuff from like five days ago. So just keep in mind, all this stuff during these silent videos is 
um, more up to date than the most of the stuff you'll be seeing coming up. And like I said, I'll I'll tell you. It, it's it's so, it's so confusing talking about. I'll inform you when I get to recording new videos. Um, that this is now past where this is commentary wise. And now you're the new gadget. It is the cryptographic sequencer, which can unlock decryption keys. I don't think this appeared in Arkham City, or if it did, it didn't appear in the same way. Because there are two things that get in Arkham City. Maybe they're the same thing, but it wasn't using these. What you're about to see, the waves. Um, so yeah, the cryptographic sequence is fun. I mean. There are two upgrades that I'll be getting, or that I have gotten, um, yeah. This is almost like time travel. Um, there are two um, upgrades you can get to make um, the uh, half a battle range, so you can do it from far away, aka if this one behind an electric gate. And then there's a power amplifier to make it easy and you can get it done faster. Which is also extremely useful. I'll be getting those in time, and those will cause me to go out of order on my um uh, um in the upgrades. I'll see you guys in a second. Only one more video like this.